I'm out at uh, William O'Brien State Park. This is where I go almost every weekend for my long runs because it's close to my house. I get some semblance of elevation for living in Minnesota. And um, it, uh, it's actually a great park. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that when I first started running. Uh, when we were training for a marathon four years ago, we'd come out here and it was miserable. Hated every single second of it, but kept coming out and uh, now I'm at the point where I really enjoy running here. So I've got four hours on the calendar today, so I'll probably get in somewhere between 15 and 20 miles. Um, I'm having some pain in my left foot, so I'm just gonna kind of take it easy and see what kind of mileage I'll get. I'd rather make sure my foot is okay than put out a bunch of miles and then make it impossible to finish the 100. So that's where we're at. See you later. two hours in, so halfway through. I'm uh, on my way up to my favorite spot in the park. It's Wedge Hill. The, the, it's the highest point in the park and the views are gorgeous. So I'll be seeing that soon. But I figured share a little something that I've learned having a why for your running. Um, at these distances, if you are running simply for the belt buckle or the medal or just that race, it's really easy to uh, give up. Um, so a lot of a lot of big time runners and coaches out there recommend having a why that transcends just that race. And uh, if you would have asked me like a ye like two years ago what my why was, it would have been just getting to experience what it's like to push myself and to see my limits and to try and go beyond those and create new limits, which is, it's still good. It's still something I lean on when I have to go these further distances and I don't know if I can actually pull it off. But even more importantly nowadays for me is being an example for my son. Uh, now he's a year and a half. He's not gonna remember this event at all, but that's part of me starting to record this stuff. So I'd like to, in everything I do, set the example for my son and show him what it's like um, to try hard, to do things that you can't, don't think you can do, um, to do your best uh, no matter what, uh, to overcome really hard things in life. So that's my why, is being the best example I can for my son. Um, 
if you're a runner and you're watching this, leave a comment down below uh, if you have a why. If you don't have a why, think about it. And then come back to it and let me know. Because I'd love to hear why people do these crazy things like I do. Five minutes left in this run but uh, I think I'm gonna call it here and walk it out the rest of the way back I uh, woke up with some stomach problems this morning and uh, they've stayed away up until this point so we're gonna play it safe get back home and take it easy and then uh, I've got four hour run scheduled for tomorrow <laughs> I always forget that uh, running out here longer means that there are more people on trails when I'm getting near done. So cut myself off because I was passing a whole bunch of people hiking and I'm not quite ready to be that weirdo talking to their phone in front of strangers in public yet. So uh, here we are. But yeah, I was saying I'll be doing 50 miles next weekend on the Spear Hiking Trail from Gooseberry to County Road 6. Uh, it'll be like 51-ish miles. Um, but that will be my ultimate test of pacing, uh, nutrition, uh, equipment, everything you can think of. Uh, if that goes well, I'm going to be real confident with the 100. So tune in for that next week. Peace.